hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how to make like this type of team card you can see this is beautiful and this very good looking team card over here and there is also a very good smooth hover effect on here you can see when i hovering on these images it was getting this upsides and it is getting this scaling up and it was a very smooth transition over here so in this video we are going to learn how to make it using html and css and some images over here and so let's get started that how we can do it here you can see I have opened my Visual Code Studio, I have added basic HTML file and CSS. You can see I have some images on the profile for the profile images. So here you can see I have opened this HTML and here this CSS and I have connected. Now copy this body tag over here and we are going to write some CSS for this body. So we are going to write in some display flag, suspect content center and the main height. So it means we are going to making something deep to in the center section. So this is the basic CSS for this making center a deep. So this is and now we are going to see the live view. So now here we are going to see the writing here the class name the steam container so copy the steam container class name now write it here in this style file okay i've added the underscore over here let me remove it now write the css for it so here i'm going to be writing this display flex and the spec content center align item also center and the text align also it will be the center over here so that all item or whatever we are going to writing inside of this steam container so all will be go to center and writing also the position relative and i'm going to adding a background okay not the linear agent i think i should add it here only the simple color i'm adding it and the linear gradient will be choose later using the depending on the image profile and the color of this now select it and within here i'm setting as a default width that is 100 by 800 pixel and height is 200 pixel and let's add a border radius over here it is 10 pixel now it was not showing over there because we have it now you can see that it is loaded over here now i'm gonna making it a little bit of more height and width so it was perfect now just back to our html file and here we're going to writing that team box this will be our box of our every profile over here now inside of it we're going to add first of all and images so that profile images so i'm going to add this alphabet.png and removing that alert text and then we're going to add a name for this team name which will be the name of this product okay so which will be the name of this person over here and this okay let me add a team for this images box also the section of it so that it will be make the separate option so this is we have said it so now let me copy and paste it again i'm going to make it that four times so we have copy and pasted now changing the images file path and the name also over here Okay, after changing this all of this name and the file part save it now we can see the view is like this now copy the steam box class name over here and we're going to paste it over here in this our style file now we're going to write in some css for it so i'm going to adding a width which is 200 pixel and height which is 200 pixel also over there okay let me make it a little bit of margin over there so this is 5 pixel from the both side it will be make it and we're going to add some this is for these images so i'm just copying this all over there and we will be changed here and team.ims team img and then we're going to set width and height for the image so which is 190 and 190 the same it will be square sizes okay we have copied this and then writing the img tag then we need to write for the img width which is 100 percent you can see that it was looking like this now we're going to set some margin removing that margin over here it will be you can see the perfect letters looking here now go to back the inspection mode and we can see the color now we're going to take a background color of this our card builder so linear again we're going to choosing the color from our images color so we have this and selecting this one and then the one is over here so now it was perfect for the as matching the images the background now copy the linear gradient section now back to our team container and paste it here so it was safe you can see now it's looking like this now we're going to for the right for this team name this class name over here copy it now we're going to writing for this the team name team box which is parent classes and the child classes team name then we're going to writing the color which is hashtag ff so it will be white but i'm going to make it a little bit of darker white which is blue darker okay that's it now you can see it was looking like this 
now back to here and change a little bit of more darker and it was set it now it is looking like this it has matches with that color now here we are going to add a padding over here which is 30 pixel and 20 pixel and then back to here I am going to hide this width so it will automatically default width will be set over here and let me add some more over here this is perfectly looking good but I think we can do it better over here so let me come back to the team box it was already perfected now this team box name so here I am going to add a margin top ok margin top I am going to set some margin which is 30 pixel we are going to test it it was very high so let's decrease it 10 pixel now it has looked perfect ok now it is set it now here I'm going to add a padding from the bottom so a padding from the top it will be we need some spaces over here but we can remove it also in later because we are going to do the pasties over here now we are going to add it in Bedian, which will be a button text in our card upper side of there so adding a team and copy this class name of the Bedian. now let's back to our team container after this and then we are going to write in here so I'm going to write in here this position absolute and it will be from the top 20 minus 20 pixel and the background i'm going to add a linear gradient which is orange and yellow so 45 degree will be rotated over here orange and yellow color so it was set it okay now let's add a color so for sorry it's adding a padding over here 20 pixel then add a color for this font so this is i'm going to adding a default that is hashtag 00 and this will be completely black now we can see looking like this now we need to decrease the padding over here which is 10 pixel and 20 pixel now it will be look good and let's add a border radius over here it is 10 pixel it was very big so let me decrease it okay let's add a font size then we will be decrease the border radius over there okay let me make it padding top 80 pixel it was still not perfectly working over here there is a top which is minus 30 pixel so let's set it ok let's make it text transform uppercase so it will be a capital letter and the letter is spacing I am adding it 1 pixel it will be a space of the ease of the text over there then the font weight is blocked and the box shadow I am adding it for the button that is 0 there are 3 pixel and hashtag cc so it will be bought this over there now let's border it is make it 5 pixel it will be look good right now but you can see the bottom it was touching from this text over here now let's set it the pixel over here which is there and this padding so i'm adding default 30 pixel and from the top okay let's add the bottom over here so bottom 80 pixel and go to here now it was touching from the top so we have this another solution for it so i'm adding this hiding this height now it was looking good perfectly but so much of their padding over there so let me back to here and we'll be removed there's some padding over there in the background for adding so first of all add a background for the body and we're adding the same color of background for as the card is have now we're adding a box shadow so this is 0010 pixel and hashtag cc so it was very big so we'll decrease a little bit of one so now it is perfect now we're going to add a hover effect for this images of the profile now copy this top team images i am the classes over here now first of all to take this team box which is our panel container then hover and then the team i am the dot i am the tag and then transform a scale will be 1.1 so it will be when you hover on it it will be a little bit of an increase but this transition is very fast so we're going to make a smooth 0.5 seconds and you can see it was looking perfect so this we have completed the curve so beautiful this over this profile card